Hello everyone, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be taking us on a long stretch powerful prayers and declarations. The Bible says in James 5.16 that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So prepare to pray and to receive. God bless you. I want you to mention these seven areas one by one and cry in the name of Jesus. The areas that are not yet at work in your life. Please love your destiny enough to not be silent. You're online, make sure you pray. Mention them. I'll list them one by one as you pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Meekness. Meekness. I receive that grace. Teachability. Humility of heart. I throw away pride from my life the know-it-all mentality I drive it far from my life someone is praying receive the grace pray Lord I open up my heart to be competent I throw mediocrity out I throw laziness out in the name of Jesus Christ I submit to learning I become skillful valuable competent excellent at a global scale someone is praying pray for credibility lord the grace to walk in integrity the grace to have a good name a good name that speaks transgenerationally pray for light i remain a student of light access to wisdom access to knowledge access to understanding someone pray welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word giveth life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold i was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part shalt thou make me to know wisdom aha uh -huh. purge me with high soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities verse 10 create in me a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence take not thy holy spirit from me verse 12 restore unto me the joy of thy salvation 
and behold me with a and uphold me with a free spirit then i will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shall not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem someone is praying then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness mercy mercy in the name of jesus mercy we come boldly to the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need mercy for nigeria mercy for our regions mercy for koinonia mercy for every family here mercy for every business mercy for every captain of industry every politician every head of parliament every professional mercy for our children mercy for those who have gone ahead of us in the name of jesus prayer point number two as for me and my house lord i agree with you this day that i will serve the lord no other name no other god no other force no other influence someone is praying please pray whether you come from lagos whether you come from plateau state from kaduna state from maiduguri from enugu anambra cross river port Harcourt. it does not matter whether you are from the fct lord as for me and my house i dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols someone is praying i dissociate myself from the worship of deities fraternities with gods that are not the true god i declare that as for me and my family i worship the one true god jesus the son of the living god it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did lord we pray as a nation Lord, we pray as a region. As for me and my house, as for me and this ministry, someone pray. As for me and my children, pray. As for me and my wife, as for me and my husband, as for me and my corporation. outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for jesus we will serve the lord Pastors pray, 
as for me and the vision God has given me no consulting mediums no consulting powers no consulting shrines it is Jesus only Jesus ever Jesus only Jesus ever as the source of power as the source of revelation as the source of illumination no bribery no corruption pastors pray no manipulating members sincerity of truth loving them and serving them In the name of Jesus. Now don't be tired, we are still praying. Right now, on legal basis, you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life, the blood is against it. He said, we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what alters by the patterns in your life call it by name and curse it by the god of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail the throne of grace I come by the backing of the throne of grace someone pray a new order is imagined from you tonight your children will thank you your children's children will thank you they will say at what point did this transformation start and you will tell them when i found the revelation of the mystery of altars someone prophesy my father may have died early my mother may have died early but i will not die early i will not die on timely death in the name of jesus i am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of jesus pray graduate from the families no job no lifting pray people don't get married or they get married and the homes don't stay barrenness repetitive patterns failures in business someone pray the operation of these altars come to an end from lagos to abuja to maiduguri to kaduna state to rivers to cross river to Kogi state i don't care how long they have lasted lord we pray someone pray enough is enough in the name of jesus someone pray enough is enough enough is enough we are bringing a new order pray for your family enough is enough enough is enough of children becoming useless enough is enough of people never finishing what they start enough is enough
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please listen to me in the name of Jesus when I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry i said minus me but i knew that it would not just be empty talk you see let me tell you something about altars they don't care whether you're a pastor they don't care whether you are whatever once there is no compliance you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen i made up my mind that i will serve the purposes of god at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level that it will be my lifetime i will rewrite that narrative you're going to pray one more prayer before i speak over please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory i connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar please pray you are not wasting your time connect your business by faith in the son of the living god not as a blind ritual no let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am no longer connected to ancestry someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace let it be known to principalities and powers let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god's dear son hallelujah praise the name of the lord hear me my dear people everyone is destined by christ to rise there is nobody who is destined to remain down please place your right hand on your head prophetically you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory 
the leaves are up of my hair. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Any system of authorization, whether as a result of personal sin, whether as a result of territorial sin or foundations and bloodline, by the mercy of God, I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken. Hereby broken. Therefore, every negative pattern, every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of God says should be, in the name that is above all names, I bring to end those patterns now. I bring to end those patterns now. Patterns of untimely death, patterns of perversions, patterns of delay, patterns of limitation, be broken now. Patterns of poverty and begging and hardship, be broken now. Patterns of mediocrity and inferiority, be broken in the name of Jesus. Hear me, where you have not risen to before, by reason of these limitations, I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost, rise to that level, rise to that level, in career, rise to that level. Hear me, if there is anyone here whose destiny is not opened and is not speaking you love god you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of jesus i decree and declare like a little flower opens up and begins to bud i command your destiny to open up open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to foil those altars manikesh shabarata ebre katoskadia makabraskada latoshenekete ebre kete barata in the name of jesus i bring to an end the reign of such priesthoods their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of baal they will not receive any answers again we shut the realm of the spirit against them we shut the power of the sun against them we shut the power of the wind against them we shut the power of the earth against them in the name of jesus every medium of expression ceases to work for them if there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of jesus that sickness leaves your body now 
Help them, please. That sickness leaves your body now. High blood pressure, diabetes, hepatitis, in Aparish Kote It leaves your body now. Lumps and growths in your body. Demonic things that have defied. Some of you have had surgeries again and again, and it will not go. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you, my Bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common. There are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect, but that does not bring oppression. In the name of Jesus, the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny, it is broken now. It is broken now. That powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Hear me. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die. Listen, when you read the book of Esther, you will see that by divination, a date was already put to attack the Jews. I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan, that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now, at the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three, take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of first bonds. I curse you right now. The cause of first bonds. I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. 
you will be surprised at what will happen to you now i want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of jesus we've overshot our time lift i want you to shout this loud and clear just help those under the anointing say father i decree and declare that every legal access satan has over my life over my destiny i invoke the blood and i declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a visa has been made. The Father is satisfied. Sh 
Sabakata Bakatos Koto Brenda Gate, Ekrakata Barakatos Koto Brenda Gate Lakatusia, Embraka Bakatos Koto Plekate Lakate Bariakata, Shanekate Sharakatos Koto Brenda Gate Balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Kalekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood. By the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God. Relationships by the Spirit of God. Resources by the Spirit of God. Mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of infirmity. I challenge you by the blood. You have no hold over my life. Go, go, go. Lift your voice and pray. Go. Untimely death. The waster coming as ill health. The waster coming as disappointment in business. The waster. The Lord rebuke you. The spirit of the waster. The baraka poshko to brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre hia. Makapanda katabarata. You are cursed by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens. I decree and declare, clear away for me. Lift your voice and pray. My place in life, my space in destiny. I take my place in life. I take my place in destiny. Never will it be said, Adam, where are you? I take my place.
Kaleda kaparu kapesh, na kapranda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brandi gebalia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Self them in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Caused it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Caused it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Caused it by the God of heaven. Pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray, a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant i curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things cause them by the god of heaven Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any curse sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Causes, be broken now. Causes, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Causes, every cause powered by an altar, standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. 
curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncement. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me. I'm praying. Right now. Every altar. Connected to anyone. Every altar. Connected to anyone's foundation. That is powering negative patterns. Right now. I'm telling you I'm seeing fire. May that fire. Engulf that pattern now. Altars. Catch fire. Oh, Patash Koteka, bring them out. Altars, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hanatas Katika Tepa Rakatos, Eprakatos Kotus and Nekatepa Lakatos Yata, Emprekati Katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. That the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me, anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or unknowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic, I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection, I set it on fire, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renew their life with young people and they remain there. I call upon the God of heaven. May the ground open and swallow them this moment. Help them, please. Help them, help them. May the ground open and scatter. May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship. All of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with masters, PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven. Every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Hear me. 
if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborns i curse you right now the cause of firstborns i curse you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now i want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs Maria Delilah's in the name of Jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of Samson grew back in the realm of the spirit I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of God rest on it now rest on it now I make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again
in the name of jesus we've overshot our time lift i want you to shout this loud and clear just help those under the anointing say father i decree and declare that every legal access satan has over my life over my destiny i invoke the blood and i declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a bezel has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto brenda kete. Ekrakata barakatos koto brenda kete lekatosia. Embraka bakatos koto brenda kete lekete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto brenda kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame reproach embarrassment come to an end in the name of jesus come to an end in the name of jesus Come to an end. Come to an end. Kalekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. 
you are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration say in the name of jesus everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god restoration 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 hallelujah hallelujah please don't be tired i know that i've stretched you a bit but i beseech you by the message of god please be patient and let's just finish this say after me in the name of jesus the spirit of the waster listen listen your confessions matter there is the spirit of a waster it can waste lives resources say again in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashu prehia. Makapanda katabarata. You are cursed by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu kafesh, na kapranda kaparekesh, e protos koto prendi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto prende gebale gebia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and cycles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now open your mouth and pray patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your elder brother now it's happening to you patterns caused it by the god of heaven negative cycles every two two years someone must die every six six months someone must die caused it by the god of heaven patterns they don't stay in marriage patterns they don't give birth to children cause it by the god of heaven please pray please pray hallelujah say in the name of jesus i sanctify by the blood of jesus and the word of god i sanctify my dreams i sanctify my visions i sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray pray declare
declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda kapeperaka tosko tu prekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Courses, be broken now. Courses, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Courses, every course powered by an altar, standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncement. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh patash kotaka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprakatos kotusa neka tepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. 
anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on apakatoskata i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal a handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to destroy i'm praying again whatever left you knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open may the ground open and swallow them now bring them out please may the ground open and swallow them now the spirit of poverty of lack and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborn i cost you right now the cause of firstborn i cost you right now hear me if you are the first to 
to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head, prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again. In the name of Jesus, we've overshot our time. Lift. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just have those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes, yokes, activities of ancestry be broken forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks the blood speaks 
Be patient, we're almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A visa has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto brenda kete. Eklakata barakatos koto brenda kete lakatosia. Embraka pakatos koto prekete lakete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto brenda kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach, embarrassment, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word I call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of God relationships by the spirit of God resources by the spirit of God mantles by the spirit of God Parada bakata branda katos katila kapa. E prakatos koto prakatos kati malakata. Shaprekate bata. Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster. 
the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. Pe baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas kapela katashu prehia. Makapanda katabaraka. You are cursed by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens. I decree and declare, clear away for me. Lift your voice and pray. My place in life, my space in destiny. I take my place in life. I take my place in destiny. Never will it be said, Adam, where are you? I take my place. Aleda kaparu kapesh, na kapranda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brandi gebale gebia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Self them in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Caused it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Caused it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cursed it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God, I sanctify my dreams, I sanctify my visions, I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations, no more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda kataperaka tosko tu prekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male. Or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant I curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things cause them by the God of heaven Ebra kapereto soto soba, ebrande kapa, ekroto soto prete kelikata. I 
Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen. I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus causes be broken now causes please help them whether you are an usher or not help them for sake of time causes every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you i curse you by the god of heaven very quickly bring them out causes i'm arresting causes negative pronouncement hallelujah please quickly bring them now all of you listen to me i'm praying right now every altar connected to anyone every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now Altars catch fire. Oh, Patash Koteka, bring them out. Altars catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas Katika Tepa Rakatos. Eprakatos Kotus and Nekatepa Lakatos Yata. Emprekati Katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me, anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or unknowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic, I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection, I set it on fire, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you received, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. 
everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open may the ground open and swallow them now bring them out please may the ground open and swallow them now The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship. All of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with master's PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven. Every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now Take that fire now. The cause of first bonds. I curse you right now. The cause of first bonds. I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in Jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit Whether it's your favor Your job Your lifting Your children Your relationships In the name of Jesus This moment By the power of the name, the blood and the word I declare a release now I announce a prophetic jubilee now In the name of Jesus Christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father 
you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of jesus we've overshot our time lift i want you to shout this loud and clear just help those under the anointing say father i decree and declare that every legal access satan has over my life over my destiny i invoke the blood and i declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks E crocotto pacata pregate va la cato secata ca prante che parusa secatia e pracato scotto prante che paruschi a tala cata Be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny Shadi che te parecoschi a ta Alleluia say in the name of jesus covenants of delay covenants of untimely death ah, i tell you i sense i sense such such a strong anointing we are still praying covenants of retrogression covenants of failure by the blood of jesus help them I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a visa has been made the father is satisfied shabaka tabaka tosko to prende kete ekra kata baraka tosko to prende kete la katosia 
Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word I call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the Spirit of God relationships by the Spirit of God resources by the Spirit of God mantles by the Spirit of God Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen, your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste life's resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashupre here. Makapranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleta kaparu kafesh, nakapranda kaparekesh, e protos kutu prendi gebalia, 
Kapra kapra kotos koto prende kete bale kete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two two years, someone must die. Every six six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray, a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Causes, be broken now. Causes, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Causes, every cause powered by an altar, standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. 
Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns. Right now, I'm telling you, I'm seeing fire. May that fire engulf that pattern now. Altars catch fire. Oh, Patash Koteka, bring them out. Altars catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas Katika Tepa Rakatos. Eprekatos Kotus and Nekatepa Lakatos Yata. Emprekati Katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. That the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me, anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or unknowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic, I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection, I set it on fire, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open may the ground open and swallow them now bring them out please may the ground open and swallow them now The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship. All of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with masters, PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven. Every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Hear me. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die, 
Listen, when you read the book of Esther, you will see that by divination, a date was already put to attack the Jews. I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan, that on so 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 day you will die of accident, or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing. I I pray for you now. May death leave you alone. We are wrapping up. Hear me. If you are a firstborn here, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now. At the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of firstborn, I curse you right now. The cause of firstborn, I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head, prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again. In the name of Jesus. Now pray for favor. 
let favor begin to speak in my life let favor begin to speak in my life someone is praying favor in the city favor in the country favor in nigeria in america in europe all across the globe across my territory my place of work now cry for relationships lord bring to my life strategic prophetic destiny adding relationships relationships that lift relationships that multiply relationships that open doors relationships that give and bring access finally pray for the anointing in multiplied dimensions you don't have to be a man of god in ministry everybody needs the anointing the anointing is the one factor that is responsible for your rising your shining and the spirit entered me when he spoke unto me and it set me upon my feet take a minute to pray everyone that ask it receive it god is opening all kinds of doors these are the pillars that control lasting wealth these are the pillars that control lasting wealth transgenerational wealth the cap that buys money pray money itself is a product you must have the capital that buys it the same way money buys other physical products I will pray for you for a job even a better one I will pray for you for ideas and increase and prosperity in your business I will pray that God prospers your endeavors your investments but beyond those physical things, you must access these intangible riches. The Holy Spirit, the chiefest of them, the Holy Spirit, bring into your life the anointing, amplifying wisdom, giving you the character of meekness. Turning you into a competent one like Bizalel by giving you the spirit of creativity. Hallelujah. I'm about to speak over your life. Watch this. Now, you know why Abraham became rich. Now, you know why Joseph, even though a prisoner, in one night, Joseph arose and suddenly became a prime minister. You now know the forces that were at work. You now know why Daniel, even though entered Babylon as a slave, within a short time, I hope you know it was not only Daniel who was selected. A number of the boys, eunuchs, were selected. But what was it about Daniel that kept him relevant? These are the forces. Now you know why Bezalel was such a distinguished person you know why joseph was the way he was gideon name them solomon aha uh -huh. you see what god gave solomon god did not give solomon an investment somewhere god did not give solomon elephant tusks in the wilderness he did not give him gold he had an encounter and said oh god you saw meekness there i am but a child how can i lead these people and god said that's right and that gave room for other things. He said, because you have not asked for the life of your enemies, this is what I will give you, an understanding heart. This guy woke up and with one manifestation of competence, his name went around. Kings started coming with their gifts per month to pay homage, including the queen of Sheba, who would not come for a long time. But once your rising is bright enough, even kings will come to it. What of Jesus? Do you know 
the bible never tells us that jesus carried his gold his frankincense and myrrh we never see a record of him putting it in any account he got up and went to the wilderness empty-handed and came out returning in the power of the spirit he spent 30 years gathering these seven capitals when embarrassment was imminent he used the anointing to command the fish to produce coin jesus for you because he had favor upon him he said go to the city whose uh, the road whose, whose roads divide lose a donkey there that no man had ridden on you must have favor to make that kind of demand jesus for you gideon had such grace upon his life he sounded a chauffeur and 33 000 people came you now see why everybody followed jesus to the mountain they came the deserts they came by the seaside they came master we have toiled all night and jesus said there is capital that can bring you wealth you now know what elijah had that he looked at the dear woman i may not have oil but there is something i can do go and borrow vessels your oil will multiply jesus water turning to wine look at the, the dominion the invincibility of these factors over mundane things five loaves and two fish jesus didn't say is there any bakery close by he said no i know what to do five loaves and two fish and jesus gave thanks lifting it up to heaven he placed something upon it he said go and serve them and they fed five thousand men minus women and children can i tell you don't ever say you do not have anything you are insulting yourself now you know it's incredible how we vacillate like a pendulum rating our abundance or lack of it by the presence of financial figures so if you see plus one million you say i've become one million richer that is economically intelligent but it's not a spiritual intelligent statement one million came because one of these seven factors commanded it to come so if someone looks at you and says leave the job just suffer on someone my God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we look to Yahweh Yahweh our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Let me speak over your life in the name of Jesus. You came for this meeting tonight, I decree and declare. I want to speak these seven capitals over your life. And as I mentioned them, I want you to shout a loud amen. The grace for meekness and teachability. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, the grace for skill and competence. I release it upon your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the grace for a life of credibility integrity receive it in the name of Jesus Christ number four the passion to pursue wisdom knowledge and understanding I release that grace upon you now number five the mantle of favor like you have never experienced in the name of Jesus may it land upon your life now I hope your heart is open number six every relationship needed for this new season of exploits that would translate even to bring financial abundance in the name of Jesus step into that relationship now 
step into that relationship in the name of Jesus and finally the power to prosper that comes upon men that anointing that engracing that can rest upon a man and compel things to start working in the name of Jesus you have come for this service you are connecting from across the globe receive that anointing right now receive that anointing right now receive that anointing right now in the name of Jesus Christ from tonight let the basis of your confidence not be the money in your account or the physical things you have no a combination of meekness and skill and a good name credibility are we together and light knowledge understanding and then favor and then strategic relationships and the anointing you have that businesses investments jobs or any physical platform are only a means to give these spiritual values expression but you cannot have this and then go down financially no no when the devil wants to destroy your finances he will not come and attack your business or your investments or your job he will first destroy and stop you from having this he will bring pride he will bring laziness and incompetence once he has crumbled this capital from your life then you find out that it will start having a physical effect on your business you will now blame the business blame the investment blame the finance but what is really to be blamed are the relationships not working or the incompetence or the absence of the anointing are we together now the anointing settles the issue of demon spirits causes yokes the anointing has the assignment of breaking the yoke so when the anointing is not there, demon spirits all kinds of wicked spirits can come when I found this I began to rejoice listen to me next time you put your hand in your pocket and you bring out nothing or next time you look at your bank account and you see the reading nothing to write home about don't let the devil lie to you and say you are poor and then don't lie to yourself some of you have money but you do not have true riches no meekness no competence no relationships no nothing but somebody just trusted you with a million or a few millions and you believe you are sustainably rich the bankruptcy of this capital will eventually plunge you into penury this is what God is avoiding now I like you to prophesy and don't feel bad I like you to declare that you and poverty will never have to meet again that in the name of Jesus please don't be silent whether as an individual as a ministry that in the name of Jesus in your lifetime regardless your background regardless what has happened before your coming that you will be the one to change to rewrite these narratives I want you to cause the spirit of poverty someone lift your voice and pray it is important that you prosper it's important that you enjoy material abundance material blessings it is important you are free from financial worries financial captivity it is God's will to give you the ple to give you the kingdom his good pleasure as a man of God I want you to pray that you will not be limited as far as finance is concerned the books will be written the conferences will hold the church will be built souls will be saved lives changed believers equipped and mentored you are a businessman I want you to pray you run an NGO I want you to pray I will not be limited because of finances and in this economic all with all the economic problems across the globe in the name of Jesus my case will be different by the power of the Holy Ghost I am walking in abundance I'm walking in increase no going down 10 years from now with Christ tarries I'm still standing going from glory to glory trading these true riches for physical blessings in the name of Jesus let me give you an assignment before I speak over your life I want you to go back home please write this seven spiritual capital 
write it down and begin to probe your life one by one which of these are not at work in your life and the ones that are there to what degree make it take it as a project just humble yourself and do what i'm asking you to do work on meekness work on competence right work on all of these things and you watch the things that begin to happen in your life when these forces start playing themselves over your finances you will not know dryness believe me this is not just a prophetic word i'm telling you what will happen now let me speak over your life god sent me to not only teach and to preach but to use the power of the prophetic for the rising of people there are many people who do not know the power of the prophetic that is the assignment of the anointing to empower men i'm going to speak over your life and you'll be surprised to see the things that start happening they are not empty words they are words that are backed up with the anointing of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ koinonia all who are connecting connected and are following in the name of jesus i decree and declare from this night I declare begin to step into a strange order of abundance I release you into a strange and superior order of wealth a strange order of financial blessings in the name of Jesus Christ I don't care what it has been like from the family you came from the economic situation you might be facing now whether in debt whether suffering all kinds of financially related issues in the name of jesus arise and shine in the name of jesus arise and shine arise and shine financially in the mighty name of jesus i declare over every ministry going through financial pain and tension Every family going, I'm sensing a strong anointing. I'm praying upon you. Every ministry, every organization, every business, I decree and declare beginning from now, may these spiritual forces start working for you. By reason of these forces activated, I declare over your job, may it begin to produce maximally. I declare over your business endeavor may it begin to produce maximally I declare over your investments may they produce maximally and I declare over the men that have been sent by God to stand with you and stand by you I declare enjoy their ministry from tonight you hear me by reason of this teaching tonight, every spirit of poverty and lack and failure, every cause of stagnation, I declare they lose their hold over your destiny now. They lose their hold over your destiny now. Hear me? I pray for every pastor and every church connecting in the name of jesus even in this supposed global recession you will not beg you will not lack you will not be in want in the name of jesus christ help them please every ministry here that loves god and yet you are going through all kinds of financial tension that projects do not seem projects have been halted whether structural projects transformative projects halted because of the absence of financial resources I declare as these forces come into play step into a new season of supplies and for every family here that has suffered poverty and lack and financial you know failure in the name of Jesus because you came here tonight may my God begin with you and wipe the tears of your family members I said may my God begin with you and
and wipe the tears of your family members let me pray one last time I just feel led in my spirit to pray for widows widowers orphans all those who their physical support system seem to have gone away from them maybe the breadwinner of the family has passed on or maybe there's some kind of issue in the family and right now it looks like those that are around are incapacitated in the name of jesus i declare that as these forces begin to work themselves let poverty be driven far from your life far from your family in the name of jesus christ And everyone who has mismanaged financial resources to your detriment you've lost money you've had all kinds of things you've been downsized because you still have access to these forces I decree and declare the same way the hair of Samson grew back I speak to your finances it must grow back I speak to your finances it must grow back I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood shabakatos kata branta kaparu kata e prakatos kati lakatos you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah say in the name of jesus covenants of delay covenants of untimely death ah, i tell you i sense i sense such such a strong anointing we're still praying covenants of retrogression covenants of failure by the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers, tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A visa has been made. The father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto brenda kete. Ekrakata barakatos koto brenda kete na katosia. Embraka bakatos koto prekete na kete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto brenda kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. 
seasons of shame seasons of embarrassment seasons of retrogression by the power of the blood come to an end in my life now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray seasons of shame reproach embarrassment come to an end in the name of jesus come to an end in the name of jesus Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word I call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the Spirit of God relationships by the Spirit of God resources by the Spirit of God mantles by the Spirit of God Parada bakata pranda katos kati lakapa, ebra katos koto bra katos kati malakata, shabre kate bata. Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death, the spirit of infirmity, I challenge you by the blood. You have no hold over my life. Go, 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 lift your voice and pray. Go, untimely death, the waster coming as ill health, the waster coming as disappointment in business, the waster, the Lord rebuke you. The spirit of the waster. Ke baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela kata shubrehia. Makapranda kata barata. You are caused by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens I decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny I take my place in life I take my place in destiny never will it be said Adam where are you I take my place Aleta kaparu kapesh, naka branda kaparekesh, e protos koto brandi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. 
open your mouth and pray patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your elder brother now it's happening to you patterns caused it by the god of heaven negative cycles every two two years someone must die every six six months someone must die caused it by the god of heaven patterns they don't stay in marriage patterns they don't give birth to children caused it by the god of heaven Pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes when that happens i want you to bring the people out very quickly ushers we have to work together right now i declare anyone here who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus causes be broken now causes please help them whether you are an usher or not help them for sake of time causes every cost powered by an altar standing to destroy you i curse you by the god of heaven very quickly bring them out causes i'm arresting causes negative pronouncements hallelujah please quickly bring them now all of you listen to me i'm praying right now every altar connected to anyone every altar connected to anyone's foundation 
that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire Oh, a patash koteka, bring them out. All tasks, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprekatos kotos nekatepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit you are living your life but you know this is another man's script by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare in the name of jesus be delivered now be delivered now Hear me anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on apakaposkata i set it on fire now I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open apakatoskata may the ground open and swallow them now bring them out please may the ground open and swallow them now The spirit of poverty of lack and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now Hear me. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die. Listen, when you read the book of Esther, you will see that by divination, a date was already put to attack the Jews. I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan, 
that on so 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 day you will die of accident on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of first bond i cost you right now the cause of first bond i capatas kotebata i cost you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now i want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of jesus everything that is a covering cast over you that will not allow the glory of god to be revealed in the name of jesus I came by the anointing of the spirit I tear it like a veil I tear it like a veil over your help them please I tear it like a veil
I tear it like a veil in the name of Jesus I say to you again every covering cast of darkness over your life that will not let the glory of God be revealed I came by fire and I came with power this night let it be torn in the name of Jesus Remember ye not the former things. Everything that stopped you from rising last year and made the year look as if you were cursed. I don't know what it is called, but in the name of Jesus, everything that is not of the Christ, you have watched it hold people down and will not let them go forward. I stand like Moses and I declare this year, go forward. I push you by prophecy. Go forward. Go forward advance help that gentleman go forward excel excel in ministry i place an anointing upon you excel in business excel in family excel in the name of jesus where you have been deserted so that no man will pass through you i call you an eternal excellency hear me in the name of jesus the anointing for speed i place that anointing on you now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now i release that grace speed in ministry speed in business speed in destiny speed in career may my god take 10 years and put it in one year 10 years and put it in one year i'm hearing in my spirit shame I don't know who that is for shame everything that has looked like shame is like a mark on your head everywhere you go it attracts shame I don't know who this word is for but in the name of Jesus that cause of shame be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now shame and reproach in ministry be broken now shame and reproach in business career failure be broken now I want you to pray a prayer and then we'll continue say in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to advance grace to go forward open your mouth and begin to pray grace grace to advance you are gaining momentum in the spirit don't be silent pray grace to advance this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated for a minute. Give us Philippians chapter 3 again. I want you to look at verse 14 very carefully. Verse 14. The power of God is mighty in this place. You came to church tonight. How will you go back the same? No. No. For God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent.
I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone. It's one word, again. 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 Again is a prophetic word. This is not the first time I'm hearing it in a meeting. It's the word again. I am coming to you again. You are rising again. Ah. What you once held that left you by carelessness. Again. God is bringing it again. It's not for everyone but i'm saying it to someone you lost opportunities relationships resources my god is bringing it again restoring again lifting you again giving you visibility again please be seated I'm seeing fire fall. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing fire fall. Sebateketa, skati balakos, ebleketa bakatos, perantos kadesh, tebleketiata, kratata bakas kotebedeketa, ebrekatiata. Oh, let it fall. Let it fall. Let it give you wings in the spirit. Wings to fly, wings to soar, wings to fly, wings to soar in the name of Jesus. That this man visibility, hear me. Just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you. There are many gifted people who have been kept down the bible says gideon sounded a trumpet and thirty-three thousand people showed up where they came from we do not know but there was a trumpet that they had and they began to gravitate towards him there is a grace that when it rests upon you you cannot be small no it's true because many of you here, I sense in my spirit, you are faithful, you are diligent, but that grace that becomes a leverage is not there. I pray for someone here, in the name that is above all names, the grace that gives men visibility, that will cause your voice, that will cause your product, that hear ye him anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders. Rest on me, rest on me. Oh, 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 